All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role-playing game. Step 115. All right. So by default, the HTML element that shows the monster's stats has been hidden with CSS. When the player clicks the fight dragon button, the monster's stats should be displayed. We can accomplish this by using the style and display properties on the monster stats element. All right. So the style property is used to access the inline style of an element and the display property is used to set the visibility of an element. All right. So here's an example of how to update the display for a paragraph element. All right. So we would do const paragraph equals document dot query selector and then we're going to select the P and then paragraph dot style dot display. So this dot style dot display now equals block. All right. So we're going to do the same for monster, the monster stats element by updating the display property of the style property to block. All right. So let's check this stuff out. First off, let's go to the CSS, right? So we see here on monster stats, we've got display now equals none. So we're going to be changing that up using this little technique. All right. So let's go check out the monster stats up here. So we've got monster stats right here that we've already declared using a uh, document dot query selector and then uh, the monster stats ID. So let's take this monster stats right here, copy that, come down here. And inside of this thing, we're going to start off by saying monster stats uh, dot style. So we'll do this dot style dot display thing. So dot style dot display. And now instead of equaling none, it's going to equal block, la, 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 la. block like that. And then let's uh, cap it off with a semicolon. All right. So now when we go to the, pardon me, go to the cave uh, and fight the slime, we see boom, just like that. And when we didn't have that, let's get rid of that. Uh, when we didn't have that and we went to the cave and we click that, nothing. All right. So let's bring this back here with a little control. Why? Control Y, control. All right, there we go. Control Z will do it. All right. So now we've got that going on again. Let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 116 and we'll see you next time.